The 2022-23 All-NBA teams have been announced. And in the first team, we're going to jump straight into it. We've got Giannis at the forward spot, Luca in guard, SGA in the other guard, Joel Embiid at center, and Jason Tatum, the other forward. And in the second team, we've got Jalen Brown at forward, Jimmy Butler at forward, Stephen Curry and Donovan Mitchell at the guards, and Jokic at the center in the second team. And on the third team, we've got De'Aaron Fox and Damian Lillard in the guard spots, LeBron James and Julius Randle in forwards, and DeMantis Sabonis at the center spot. And one player stands out to me that didn't make the All-NBA teams, and that's Ja Morant, and this has contract implications for him. He would have been eligible for a $233 million deal over five years, but because he didn't make the All-NBA, it'll only be $194 million. Well, that's at least what I take from this graphic. And for the Boston Celtics, Jason Tatum on the first team, he is now Supermax eligible, so he can sign a five-year, $318 million deal in July 2024. And for Jalen Brown, he can now sign a five-year, $295 million deal this summer for making the All-NBA teams. That is ridiculous money. So let me know in the comments, do you think anyone was higher than they should have been? Do you think anyone was lower than they should have been? And tell me who you think was snubbed of an All-NBA team. Ja Morant not making one of the three teams is a bit of a surprise to me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.